I flew a total of 20 hours on Singapore Airlines and here's what you can expect. Hey, it's Jess, the fun size foodie here. And I've eaten and explored in over 12 plus countries and 30 plus major cities. I just finished a trip in Vietnam and Thailand and I can't wait to show you everything, especially the food. But for this video, we're talking about Singapore Airlines. Singapore Airlines is known as one of the best airlines and every year they won an award. So this was my first time flying with them and I flew economy. It was a 17 and a half hour flight from LAX to Singapore and then a two and a half hour flight from Singapore to Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Both flights were via Singapore Airlines and I'm going to show you what it was like from the amenities to the food. Let's get started. I'm at the airport. As of November 2023, Priority Pass members can't access the lounges anymore, which sucks because I was looking forward to it at LAX. I get on my flight and as soon as I sit down, I notice these different amenities. Usually the light and call button are placed at the top of the plane, but here they're conveniently placed right next to the monitor in front of you. And they have a charging port. They also got a cup holder, which is not normal. And then you can half the size of the meal tray or have a full on meal tray. I didn't notice till later, but there's a mirror here. Pretty standard with international flights, but you'll get a blanket and a pillow. What's unique here is that you can adjust the headrest to how you want, making it a lot easier to sleep on either side and not on your neighbor's shoulder. Once we took off, the flight attendants passed out hot steaming towels. I'm not kidding when I say it was hot and steaming because you can see the steam coming off of it. Yes, they offered beer on the plane, which is unheard of, and they didn't even check for my ID. So I'm in the laboratory right now, and I'm going to show you all the amenities. Here they offered complimentary hand lotion. And then they had a mini hand dryer, which blew my mind. They also provided paper cups that were pretty nicely decorated. Then I noticed a drawer full of dental kits and sanitary napkins. This is just straight up unheard of. For those of you who have babies, you're gonna love this one. They've included a baby changing station right in the laboratory. And when you push the flush button, it lights up. It's not much, but it's different and unique from what I've experienced flying other airlines. My favorite thing about this lavatory is that you get to change the temperature of the water. Being in this lavatory, it made me realize just how poor I really am. Instead of having to touch the flap to throw away your trash, there's a footstep at the bottom that will open it for you. So I just took off my makeup and now I'm going to brush my teeth using one of the toothbrushes. And I hadn't noticed this before, but these dental kits include small tubes of toothpaste. And you don't get these on your regular, normal economy class flights. They also have hooks in the lavatories to just hang your clothes or anything you want. And they got a full size mirror. Dinner time! For dinner, we're having beef brisket sukiyaki. I low key can't wait to find out what the ice cream is though. Thank you. I noticed the flight attendants sticking stickers on some of the people's chairs and I figured out it's probably because people requested for vegan food. This is what the beef brisket sukiyaki looks like. When I received my plate, I noticed the silverware. It was made out of metal, not plastic, and was heavy. You know they ain't playing around here. And on their menu, they had complimentary cocktails. I got the Singapore sling. That's not strong enough. After my first bite of this beef, it was so flavorful. 
This whole dish was flavorful because usually airline food is pretty bland. I can even appreciate the little details in these dishes. But I think this quinoa appetizer could have been warmer. Then I had bread with butter and cheese and crackers. After clearing my plate, I was so full. And for dessert, they served haagen ice cream. But get this, in between lunch and dinner, they served us snacks. So most people during this time were asleep. But I was watching movies and the flight attendants were walking around asking if we'd like some snacks. At first, they passed out bananas and I thought that was pretty nice of them. But then later on, they passed out full on sandwiches. I was so full, but that doesn't even matter because it was free. It's unreal because typically you don't see this much food in economy class. It's usually just meals and small snacks here and there like peanuts, cookies, and crackers. But never a full on sandwich. The next morning, I got coffee. Bad idea because coffee is a diuretic and I had to pee 10 times. I sat in the middle seat, so I'm so sorry to the girl next to me. For breakfast, I got the braised rice vermicelli with pork. It also came with fresh fruit, yogurt, and of course bread, but with jam this time. I thought this dish was going to be pretty tamed, but it wasn't at all. The peppers were pretty spicy. So sometime after breakfast, I was watching another movie and I wanted some popcorn to go with that movie. Under the delectable section, they have some flavored popcorn and I wanted one of those. So I ordered one. There's me expecting just popcorn. But then the flight attendant comes and gives me a Kit Kat on top of that. Like, bruh, they just went above and beyond and I freaking love it. The service and amazing hospitality that I've been given on this flight shows me exactly why they won awards every single freaking year. Well, that's everything I wanted to show you guys for Singapore Airlines. They're the best airline I've been on so far. More videos will be coming up about my trips, so stay tuned because I'll be sharing about my experiences and my learnings from those trips and all the food that I love and did not love.